Hey everyone and welcome to the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. I just wanted to share with you a couple more things around the PD3200Q that I reviewed just a few weeks ago. And what I want to show you are the ways that I work between a couple of different applications. So I'll start off here in Illustrator. And here I'm using this as a second view of this card file. Well, I kind of finished that off down the bottom here to add some detail, which I'm just doing on the Cintiq here. And I actually find myself uh, zoomed in uh, onto this nicely and I can just get in and work on the bits that I need to work on. So if I get my group selection tool here, for example, I'm just doing a bit of clean up here. And if I select all of the black parts here, go to my Pathfinder and join those together and then do a similar operation with the white areas just there, just to join those up. And then typically I'll run something like the Astute Graphics Vector First Aid plugin over the top of that. Now if I click here uh, and do that, I can see that there's some trimming going on there. So I'm just going to change the tolerance. So if I just undo that, a couple of times and in fact select everything that I've got here. I'm just going to Alt or Option click that button. I'll drop the tolerance here down to about five, something like that. And there you go, I've got a much better job. And I can see that straight away over on the other screen. And that's just about ready for me to bring that down and merge it with the rest of the artwork on this card. So I've also got uh, this particular device here, which is part of uh, a production company, and I've started working on this file as well, which is another device uh, used by that company or will be. And so I want to show you how easy it is to create the second view. So if I just come up to the window menu here, okay, and go new window at the top, it will create me a new docked window, but if I simply just drag that out, and drag it over onto the PD3200Q, just there, and then just maximize that in that space. And Command-0 there, just fit that to the screen. And in fact, I could carry on zooming uh, there as well if I wanted to, if I just stretch out that side of the window. There we go. And I can fit that, which means if I want to here on the main file, I can just come across now zoom in on a particular area and then start working uh, on that as much as I want to. So I've got a bit of a redraw error going on just there, but just for the moment. So if I get the eraser tool here, bring that in and just cut in to these various different parts and get the blob brush just to give that a nice bouncy quality to that line. There like so, because it's really easy for me to carry on and work. So if I take that from here, or the previous piece from here, if I move across to After Effects, I'll just show you this sequence that I'm working on in After Effects. It's basically stamping down the Ironworks logo, like so. So you see that comes down like so, and then a way to leave its imprint on the wood just there. Now I want to do a bit of extra work on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is swap out to Cinema 4D just here, and then show you a couple of things around this with the PD3200Q. Okay, so what I'm going to do is switch into the CAD CAM mode. Now on the puck here, I've got that set to the second button, which I think is actually the default, but these are all things you can configure uh, yourself and you'll see how it changes the interface makes it much more contrasty like so and if I go to the window menu and show you something that's actually got a model uh, started inside of it so this is going to be uh, a box for some confectionery uh, that's going to later on come in via Cineware into Illustrator but you can see how that nice contrast makes it really easy for me to see what's going on if I switch back into the sRGB mode, just here, it takes your eyes a moment or two to adjust to it, and then it looks just fine. And if I come along to Ironworks here, and I'll just scrub through this timeline so you can see that's how that works 
just there comes in stays for a bit like so and what I'm going to do is just change the material that's being used here so I'm just going to alt or option drag uh, the material I want to replace it with on top and there's a light inside of this file so this is like a rusted steel texture before you go writing in I know it's not iron but that's just fine <laughs> most people aren't worried by that and if I just switch out to uh, the default camera here and just zoom in a bit you can see there's the After Effects camera there these are the motion paths uh, for the light and there's the file just there so I can change anything I want to uh, in there but that mode to be able to just swap out into that CAD CAM mode is really really useful and just by tapping away like that fantastic I'm just going to save that file in fact if I just go back to the After Effects camera uh, first and I'll save that file just there pop back to After Effects and of course it's a live link uh, via the Cineware plugin between After Effects and uh, Cinema 4D there of course you've got Cinema 4D Lite which don't worry if you don't own it already because if you've got After Effects then you've got Cinema 4D Lite it's in there I happen to have the full version uh, here but uh, it's a great application now this will take a little while to render out because there's quite a lot uh, going on just there and you can see the render bar uh, already moving across uh, there on the bottom as it brings together frames and it would take it a little while to render that because of all the lights and the extra 3D stuff but that's just fine. What I do want to show you is that if I wanted to turn on uh, the option to go full screen whenever I preview so my RAM preview here I'd hit the spacebar for example like so and that will start the uh, RAM preview going one of the advantages you've got with this particular monitor is to switch to the animation mode now I haven't got that on here as a preset but I can easily access the menu by tapping OK in the middle there which brings up the on-screen menu absolutely love this by the way the fact that I haven't got to go digging around and trying to press these buttons at the bottom. If I come down to advanced picture and across to picture mode okay and then down to animation like so I've got options here for the overall brightness and contrast there. I'm just going to back out of that so if I was going to show this uh, to somebody in the studio as an actual preview then of course I could get a uh, whole full screen thing going on there it's just catching up that's the only reason it hasn't rendered across the screen but there you are that's uh, the final review on the PD3200Q it really is fantastic I just thought I'd share with you those couple of extra modes that I didn't show in the last movie so there you are that's how I work with it with Illustrator and with After Effects and Cinema 4D